Ooh, there's spider webs. Hello, it is I, Sarah, with a creepy intro to a YouTube video. <laughs> I don't care, I'm leaving this. Uh, hi guys, today I'm gonna be working on Project Sir Codsworth, my 2003 Focus SVT rally project. For all you new folk up here is a link to the last video that'll get you caught up on this project. Where we last left off, I gutted the interior so I could get this thing ready for cage prep. And the next step that I want to do is a battery relocation. Just gained access to pop the hood here. Oh, there we go. Oh, heavy. The battery is already in the process of relocating itself. Ta-da! No more busted grill. I put the European spec grill on there. It deletes my amber blinkers in the grill and I think it looks a lot more clean. That's just one thing I was gonna do for looks for now just cause that grill was falling off. These battery terminals are so bad. This is crazy. Look how, <laughs> that was so not safe. Look how bad that was. That is so crazy. You, my OCD is getting to me so bad right now because I wanna clean underneath this hood, but I have to stop because race car. This coolant line right here was rubbing from the battery. That needs to be replaced. There's a leak occurring on the top of the transmission. Looks like from the fill hole, so maybe they just changed the fluid and that's all it is. The battery that was probably in here before, it looks like it was leaking acid and it ate away at the paint on the side of the frame rail. I have to take care of that too. If you're wondering what I'm gonna do about the lack of a blinker now in my grill, I'm gonna replace these with the factory EAP headlights. In case you don't know what the hell EAP stands for, it's for a European appearance package. It was something they had in the States on the 03 and 04 SVT Focus that included HID projector headlights that had a built-in blinker in the headlight housing itself. That dirty looking silver box thing right there is the intake runner control module and that is what is potentially bad on this car. I know it seems like I'm getting slightly distracted from the battery relocation, and that's because I am, but I'm also trying to be proactive and take care of stuff that is in the vicinity of what I'm working on. I'm justifying it, okay? Out of here. Ouch. What is going on over here? Here's my intake runner control module and as you can see, there is most definitely some RTV around that plug that does not come from the factory. Which means someone's already taken it apart to try to repair it once. There's a set of contacts in here that get dirty and cause the P1518 fault code. But uh, it does have a check engine light for uh, the intake runner stuck open. And uh, I'm guessing someone probably fix that right before I bought the car. If it throws another check engine light, which it's not right now, then I'm just gonna replace the entire thing instead of trying to repair it again. Another day and another Sarah. Same, same Sarah, another day. Just realized that I only have one 2.0 liter badge on the passenger side. It's, it's missing over here on the driver's side. Because race car, I have to keep saying it to myself. I wanna make this car pretty and perfect and I can't. It's a race car and a low budget race car at that. So my thought process is I'm gonna relocate this battery as far rearward as possible and also offset it a little bit to the passenger side to make up for the fact that my weight is gonna be over here on the driver's side and I don't have a co-driver. 
We have to go under the car to make sure I'm not gonna drill into my fuel tank. Ooh, ooh, the spider webs. So this over here is my fuel tank and it's way in front of the spare tire well. So the only thing that looks like it could come in contact with that area is the fuel filler neck. Ugh. So here's the fuel filler neck and then it's gonna run down through that area. So yes, it does go through this area, but I think where I'm drilling up here, I'm good. I definitely have plenty of length in the cable. So that's gonna be fine right there. It can be kind of dumb if I didn't pre-measure first to make sure I had enough cable. I just gotta drill one hole here and one hole here. And then this is actually the top bracket that goes above the battery. Done. This one's thick. In case you were wondering also, I'm going on slow speed because it cuts better when you're on a slow speed. Woo! Almost. And this is how you break bits. Whoa! That's awesome. It's bottoming out inside the hole. My calculations were correct and I didn't strike oil. I'd say it's good enough for government work. Please go in your home. Please. There we go. Got it. Oh no! It went all the way through. Almost. There we go. One grommet, two grommet. I ran into a slight dilemma. I can't get a nut on the bottom of one of these because there is a second layer of sheet metal underneath where I drilled that is connected to the rear subframe, I think. This one is good. I got a nut on the bottom of this one and there's this one on the other hand. If you drop it down, it hits. The only fix I know to solve this is to use a thread setter gun and put the little uh, thread inserts down inside one of these holes. So that way I have something to thread this stud into. How do I do this? My thought process is I'm gonna run the power cable along in front of this ridge and then it's gonna come up through the side and then it's gonna come straight through the side of the box right here. And then the ground, I'm thinking something like this. I'll hook it up here. It'll run along the side, drop down low so there's no touching between the positive and negative cables and then it'll come out the side right here and then go down there to a point where I'll attach for the ground. I was thinking this is gonna be a quick and easy video to make and shoot, but it's not. <laughs> Oh well. I'm gonna try actually to put it right here. Perfect. Here we go. Ta-da! Oh, oh. Yeah, buddy, check this out. So I, I put the grommet over here in the corner. That was a smart idea. So my ground cable comes out and it actually comes out wherever I want it to. So I'll probably just run it along the seam right down there. And then my positive cable, I can even attach a little clamp to this bracket. And as you can see, it'll go straight directly to the terminal. I don't have it on there just cause. <laughs> Jeez, if I would have made more sense to do this battery relocation kit at the same time as fabbing up the roll cage for this thing, but I don't have anyone to fab up the roll cage for this car just yet, and I'm not gonna do it myself because it's something designed to save my life. So. Aha, I have a 
battery shut off switch that I'm going to locate where my radio is inside the car since I won't have a radio in here. And uh, yeah, man, Ford really doesn't want you modifying their cars. There's, there's no access, like a little rubber grommet already pre-made into the firewall. There's this little thing behind the brake pedal, but I don't want my power cable that low. And looking up there, I can't get my camera up there, but there's nothing up here either. I'm gonna have to make my own hole. Morning peoples, it's, uh, it's the third day in this video. I know, I just, I wanna get some more work done for you guys. Keys to the focus, this is gonna be interesting. I gotta fix that. Well, this isn't slightly sketchy. Yeah, this is not sketchy at all. I made it though. Yay! Shut that death trap off. Kids, if you're watching, do not try that at home. This is a controlled stunt by a stunt professional. Hella, it's a hella good product. This right here, is critical when race car. My plan, even after the cage is done and everything, to keep just the center console as far as interior pieces go. So I want to locate my battery shutoff switch somewhere along here. Rip on that e-brake. This is such brittle old plastic. This has to be uh, easily accessible by the belted driver and accessible from the outside of the car. So my thought process is right here in the center console or up where my radio is. It's accessible by the driver and you can easily just stick your arm in through the car and reach either of these locations. If it's mounted right here, it's in front of the shifter below the dash, easily accessible by the driver and you can reach in and grab it. So. I'll put one of those right there. Ooh, really? Yeah, like that, all the contour of the outside of the car. Just like that, from there, run along the side. It'll get held in place. Go along, underneath, you won't see it right there. And then there's plenty of room where I can tuck the wire and run it along up inside here and then have my shutoff switch right here in the center, and then the power wire can continue on its way through the dashboard. You know what they say, measure measure once, cut twice. Well, this is measure four times, cut once, because th that wire is expensive. I only wanna have to cut it once. Just like that. That's a pretty good location for it. I'm happy with that right there. I have one last very important step before I start cutting up this wire and making everything final. And that is adding a circuit breaker as close to the battery as possible, especially since I'm running this large of a gauge of wire all the way through the chassis of the car. So I think I'm gonna mount it right here where this little bracket is conveniently located by the power wire. But shut. <laughs> I just realized it's already after 12 o'clock and I have to get this video edited for you guys so you have something to watch today and there's still quite a bit of work to do. I gotta do the mounting the circuit breaker, gotta do the ground wire and then cut everything and then attach everything under the hood plus drill a hole in the firewall and this little snorkel mabobber that's the vent for the battery box. I keep forgetting this. Yeah, it's quite a bit of work. I probably would have been done yesterday if I didn't have to film all this because filming takes three times as long as actually just doing the labor. But uh, yeah, oh well, such is the YouTuber life. <laughs> so I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.